All right, everybody, Kyle here, and welcome to another episode of Breath of the Wild. And I haven't been recording in the past few days, because you can probably hear it in my voice. Um, I got sick, and usually I get sick a little bit, and then can get over it, but this time, nah, I got sick for real. So, <laughs> past couple of days have not been great, but feeling better today, and... Because of all the time that I had where I wasn't recording, I just decided to go and play and start filling in a bunch of stuff because, I mean, this game is huge and there's a lot to get done. So, what I was focusing on is, as you can see now, the whole entire map has been unlocked. So, I have been to every single tower and, yeah, there's a lot going on here. And right now, I am at the Rito Village. Which is... Oh, we're right here. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So this is... Like, northwest corner of the map. And... It's a pretty cool place. This is where... Cass is from. But... He's over by the ranch. Do I have this place marked? No, I don't. And he's like, I can't go home until I finish... My duty of learning every single ancient song. Oh my gosh, wow. I haven't even been talking much today, and I'm, like, super stuffy. So we'll see how far this goes. And... Also, if I can find around here... Up in the sky... Ah, yes. How could I miss... We have one of the Divine Beasts. So, this is going to be an area... For... Some main quest lines. I just have to... Get talking with people, and see what is going on so over here we have the shrine which is our fast travel point I find it kind of weird that you can't fast travel the towns or the stables but having the shrines nearby it's basically the same deal so it works out in the end but we are going down this huge rock and we basically have to go down in circles I could jump all the way down but it's pretty good like this and you get to see their styles and everything I haven't checked out any of the shops yet, so this is all new stuff for me, and we'll see what they have here. Snow Quill Tunic, oh, three um, defense and cold resistance. I like that, so okay. I will buy it, because the, um, the tunic that I have now only is one defense and cannot be leveled up. Oh, and then more cold resistance, a headpiece. That's nice. And I have so much money that it is not a problem. And then these pants. Let's check it out. Yes. Oh, so if I have all of these, I don't have to worry about any cold anything. Thank you. Sweet. Shopping spree, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Get ready to skip. So... Let me see if I have anything I need to sell since we're here. I also took somebody else's money because he's like, you need to show me... Oh, I need to go talk to one of the great fairies. And that was over... In the map, I think. No, that's one stable. Maybe Snowfield stable. No. It was... This was... This one. So you have to cross the bridge because the tower right here um apparently the shadow of the tower will fall on where the um the next great fairy is or the one in this area at least so that's something we have to do as well but there's so much going on um yeah one of the stables it was uh, i forget yeah beetle he said that all the way up here i think this is going to be the place um this is the other research lab possibly or at least in the, the northeast uh, corridor here. And they can give you... Uh, you can give them parts for ancient weapons, which is like all the ancient parts that we've been saving up. And over here in... Whoops. In bows and arrows. He gave me an ancient arrow. So an arrow created using ancient technology. To be struck with one is to be consigned to oblivion in an instant. It deals devastating damage even against guardians. So that's good to know in case we come across a guardian boss and then we can definitely stock up on that stuff when we get to them. 
But now, oh, bomb arrows. I'm gonna buy all of these. Yes. A thousand rupees. Oh, I didn't even realize how expensive that was. But I want them anyway, because I haven't had them in quite a while. I will buy all of these. Yes, please. Yep. And then, let's see. 40 arrows. Feels good. Every time I stock up and get a bunch, I feel like I run out super quick. Goat butter. Oh, look. I'm going to buy all of those. Yes. Okay, I forget who it was. I'll have to look back through my uh thing. The uh, the side quest cuz somebody wanted goat butter. I have a feeling it was the um the girl in Kakariko village, but I could be wrong and I'll buy all of these. Oh, after selling ore and stuff and just getting all that money, it was so good. I feel like a high roller now. Actually, since we're here, let's just Open beds here. Good to know. -da 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 -da. Oh, there are other people in here. Weird. Since it's early enough. Swallow's Roost. 80. Ooh, that's expensive. Rito down bed. I'm guessing that gives me extra hearts. Because, I mean, usually sleeping in a soft bed gives you one extra heart. So maybe this one will give us two. Quite possibly. Oh, that gave us three. And an extra circle of stamina. Wow, that was worth it. Nice. And then I also upgraded. I got a lot of shrines completed. So now I have eight hearts. And then I upgraded the stamina wheel as well. Uh, Sigh. What's the deal? Yeah. Morning. Divine Beast Va Meadow. Yes, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, be uh, but I have bigger problems. My mom is so annoying. She asked me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. Aww. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Okay, Fison. You got your problems. So I guess Va is like the word for divine or something? Ah, oh, man, it's a cool spear. Yeah, so... Va, what is it again? Meadow. Va Meadow. I'm good to keep in mind. Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the prayer area for the statue. And down here is the, just the entrance to the village. So I'll talk to you. Are you a traveler? I can show you around, but that's not a good time. Whatever. Mosley. So, I'm not sure how to trigger the other events for the, um, the Divine Beasts. Ooh, frame rate. And I'm half expecting it to be because I need to trigger more memories. And let's take a look. I have the, um, the two peak thing. Um, this one here. I thought I had one more. But apparently not. So I still got to work on. Oh, this one, some dude gave me information on it. South of Hyrule Castle. But apparently we got to get like 11 more of those before um, Impa will help us out with the next thing. So we've got a few things that we can do before we eventually get there. Whatever that annoying noise is. <laughs> like, for real. Um, this is not a horse. But you can soothe them and ride them. So, uh, hello, friend. Turn around, please. Yes. You are my friend. Let's see if you can go faster than this. I don't think so. Oh, let's not go jumping off the edge, please. Huh. Oh, okay. It's okay. You know what? You're not worth my time. Get out of here. Let's go. Oh, look at my stamina wheel. It's so big. But I feel like it gets used up pretty quickly. Which, I guess, 
you know, whatever, it's better than nothing, but it still seems to go really fast. Where is Beetle? I would like to see what he has to offer. Not in here. Usually he's like sitting outside or something. Um, not seeing him at the moment. All right, now it is cold, which means it is perfect time for us to go and equip some of this warm clothing. Now that shows that we're good for now, and I'm actually going to keep that just so we can keep our um, defense up. And then I think finding, if we can't find the uh, second great fairy, uh, then we will go and um, visit the one at Kakariko Village and upgrade this stuff because that way we can have some decent cold armor. And, yeah, fishing. Wait, which bow do I have currently? Oh yeah, I have a bunch of night bows, which is awesome. So I have 26 damage. I have steel is all bow, 36. And then um, I have a golden bow, which is a, um, a Goron made bow. And it has really good distance. And one of Cass's um, songs um, hints at shooting the bow in a way that... Ooh, 360 damage. Um, we have to hit a special target when the uh, the shadow of the tower hits it. guys have for me shock arrows sweet this dude's gone no drops for me I guess oh look at them I have arrows finally except they're gonna be gone in like two minutes so whatever Ooh, we have a little cabin over here in a fire I am interested as to what is going on here. Are those just trees? Yes, they are. I was like, what am I looking at? Oh yeah, I was reading online there, there's something like 900 Korok seeds in the whole entire game. Like, that is absolutely crazy. Oh. Herba Trail something something something. Hello. Mm. Excuse me, young traveler, but if I may be so bold, you look quite troubled. Perhaps a glimpse into your future. Do I have to pay for it? Uh, I see black. So much blackness. A deep, dark abyss. Drawing you in. Ah, uh, it's the void you're about to inhabit. Yeah, that's what I figured. I also found where the Yiga clan lives. Which is kind of weird. Get knocked out. Oh, that was fast. Vicious Sickle. Yeah, and they have, like, the bows that can shoot three arrows at once, which is kind of insane. But I think the deal is that you have to beat, like, all the random travelers to be able to get into their base. Because there's a secret door, but it just, there's nothing to trigger it from what I saw when I was there. So, yeah, that can sit on the back burner. Luminous Stone. I think I'm going to look it up and see what um, benefit the Luminous Stone has for that custom clothing creation because depending on how worth it it is I might just use those to trade to the Zora dude who will give me uh, 500 rupees so if we open up here oh we got a chest meter rod, meteor rod Wow. I feel like I've seen it, but at the same time, I don't know. Cast three fireballs at once. Crafted by an ancient magician, it will break upon running out of magical energy, so make it last. Oh. So, oh, my inventory is full. Well, 
another thing is I also upgraded my inventory a fair bit. I can drop that stick. So I can hold a lot more weapons. I got a few more bow slots and put another shield slot in here. So doing pretty good. Yeah, so we can still pick this up again. So I'm wondering if this thing has any durability on it or if I can have it last forever as long as I don't completely waste it. Because that would be interesting. Ooh, I'll take flint. And let's see how much room we have. We have room for four things to cook. So you know what? Let's cook up a few things. Let's make this insane. <laughs> Only one? Okay, well, I mean, it's 11, and a, 11 minutes and 10 seconds, so I guess that's something. Uh -huh. Oh. You can go up that way. But then there's a shrine there. Okay, we can always fly down. Let's see what this says. Urban mountain climbing path. Uh, okay, we'll climb up a little bit, see what's going on. And then we can always jump on down and paraglide our way. <laughs> oh yeah, if that's climbing to the top of the mountain, that's not on the agenda for today. Jeez. Dropping my battle axe. Whoops. Let's try this out. Hey, don't be burning me up. Hey, yeah, that's right, get hit. Let's go for Vicious Sickle. Get fast attacked. I want that. Do I? I don't know. Let's see. So this is 16 damage, you drop that. You pick this up. 15. Worth it. Which one is this? Sha Warvo. That's interesting. Skip. Path of Hidden Winds. Ooh, flying. I can deal with that. And I think this is just going to be like the end of the episode when we finish this. Because we're actually coming up on a fair bit of time. Ooh, no thank you. Oh! oh. Wait, that was it? Okay, bye. Yeah, and then next episode, I'll go right to the Great Fairy for the beginning of it. And... That way, I can upgrade my armor, finally. And maybe work on finding some more... Ooh, no. Where am I looking? Oh, ladder. Ladder, ladder, blah, 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 blah. No. Take me up to the top. Oh my god, why are they rolling around upstairs? Oh. No, back up. Back it up. Oh, hoosh. Yeah, my neighbors upstairs are doing something. Gotta love it. Okay. Now we're up here. Away! Ooh, that one went tall. E ooh. Would I be able to make it over to that chest, though? Why am I flying backwards, Link? God. You stupid Link. Turn around. Would ya? Okay, just... Uh, Link! Sometimes this kid frustrates me. Oh, I'm gonna sound so sick in this episode. It's just... Bleh. Okay, so if, if I'm jumping here, and I can't make it to the top, but you can see there's a stream on top, but like, that's too tall, like that would send you into the ceiling, so maybe if we go like this, will I have enough room to get around? Is that... Oh, aha! Here we go. Secret entrance. Oh, what? No, Link, stupid, you're wasting your special hearts. How did that happen? So from here... Maybe that'll work if Link would face the right way. I can go like this. Wah! Yes. Take me to your leader. Wah, 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 wah. 
and bah, bah, bah. oh the knight's bow well don't need that <laughs> oh, what a waste at least after finding this it was easy enough to get to ah, here we go get in what are you doing like I don't get it but anyway here we are Shing. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this blah blah blah. Yay. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching and stay tuned. Oh, it's a moose. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, next episode we will get to... Um, upgrading the armor and then I definitely want to find out how we can trigger this if it is in fact a matter of getting the memories then we're gonna to have to start hunting those I'm willing to look up parts on the map just so I can get them done because I feel like it's gonna take a while like a long time otherwise because I've been all over the map and haven't found many on my own so yep that's gonna do it thank you for watching and stay tuned